Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. So we are out running some quick errands. Danielle and I are going to be getting together tonight. We're gonna to make some wreaths. We're gonna exchange our gifts. Kind of have like a low key wine night. Steven is actually volunteering tonight to do some free law work that he, as you guys saw in Vlogmas, he does weekly. So he'll be tied up with that. Danielle and I will be making some wreaths, having some wine, chit chatting, exchanging gifts, that whole thing. So looking forward to that. Today we're going to make my grandmother's pumpkin roll. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. And seeing what else we get into. How would you guys like, or is there a desire for transitioning Christmas to winter decor? It's not something I've ever done before, but because we're just gonna be spending more time at home this winter, I thought of doing a little bit more winter decorating, using some of the things I've had for Christmas into my house and giving some tips and tricks on how to transition from Christmas to winter. Is that a video you guys would wanna see? I'm thinking I could probably film it like a few days after Christmas as I'm putting my things away. So let me know in the comments if that's a video you'd want. I'm kind of really interested in doing it just because I've never done it before. After Target, I have to go get the live greens for the wreaths. I've already bought our wreath forms, our wire. I just need live greens, so. That's the plan after Target, and then we'll get home, we'll do the pumpkin roll, we'll probably gonna do a little cleaning around the house, and yeah. All right, off to Target. I'm just leaving the garden center now. They had everything that I needed, which is fantastic. I actually probably got a little bit more than I needed just to be safe that we could fill up our wreaths. I'm really excited to see Danielle. She is the only person that has been in Stephen and I's bubble during this pandemic. And it'll be nice to at least have some sort of holiday festivities with her and know that we're able to spend time together because we have been in contact with each other. We have both been recently tested and it's just nice to have some sort of holiday connection outside of our little family. But during the pandemic, she's really been the only person I've had any contact with, which is crazy. This Christmas is a year since my family and I, my parents have been together. Part of me wanted them to be here so desperately. And it's just not the safest option. It's, I'm not so worried about them being in contact with Steven and I because Steven and I have been at the house. We've been really safe. We have access to testing when we need it. I'm more worried about their actual travel from Ohio to New York and rest stops and all of those things that would have to take place. And it's just been hard to go a year without being in person with your family. So we'll work our way through it and we will figure it all out and we will navigate it. But it's definitely not been easy. The pines that I bought for our wreath, not pines, the greens, I bought four bundles of Fraser fir and then I bought two large bundles of Leland Cypress and then one really large bundle of um, Princess Pine. Really happy with that. And I also grabbed this cedar, sedum is like one of my favorites. And I bought these for my coffee table and I also picked up this Carolina Sapphire. I've never seen it before, but it's so beautiful. And this is for my coffee table. So I'm gonna arrange that right now. Have that arranged here on the coffee table. It looks so nice. I just went with like the natural curve and I brought some up around these taper candles, but it's nice to have some live greens for the rest of this Christmas week. They look so good. I'm really, really happy with them. And then I have all of our greens and our wreath forms out. I'm just gonna leave them sit out for the rest of the day. And those will be ready to go. Then we'll do some baking, all the things. Today we are making my grandmother's pumpkin roll. Like I said, I've never made this. My sister, sent to me my grandmother's recipe. I'll write it down below for you. 
but it says get three eggs and one cup of sugar and beat together. Now I need two thirds cup of pumpkin. My question is, do you even do pumpkin at Christmas time? Am I off track for the seasonal recipe? One teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, three quarter cup of flour. You're supposed to spray the pan before you lay your paper down. So, grease and flour, wax paper or parchment paper, spread evenly. All right, so let me get, we're gonna, we're gonna flour this. This is probably going to be a flop, friends, just so we're all really aware. Friends, I really honestly think this is gonna be an epic fail, but that's okay, we did our best. All right, 375 for 15 minutes. The next step was to get a dish towel and sift powdered sugar over it. So I've done that. When this thing comes out of the oven, which I do not think turned out, I also realized I forgot to put vanilla in it. I'll put vanilla in the cream filling, I guess. We'll make it work and we'll see this is a disaster, but we're gonna give it a whirl. I just came in from outside, I couldn't get to the phone. Guess what I'm about to do? What? Pull the pumpkin roll out of the oven. Okay. Mom, I think it's a disaster. No, it's not. I think my pan was too big, the, the batter didn't seem thick enough on the pan. Yeah, but it should have rose for you. Well, I don't know, and then I forgot to put the vanilla in it. Oh, that's no big deal. I have my dish towel. I found like a good size dish towel to do this, like not too big. And yeah. I've sifted the powdered sugar on it. Yeah. So, and then I waxed my paint. I, uh, I didn't have wax paper like grandma said, but she said you could use yeah. parchment. So yeah. I did wax. I sprayed my pan, laid my parchment paper down, sprayed my parchment, and then sifted flour on top, shook off all the excess. Yeah, and you're in good shape. And then I roll it from the short <laughs> end. Short end, yeah. Okay. And then you roll it right away. Yeah, you put it on your... Oh, here we go. The timer's going off. Alexa, okay, timer you off. Roll it right away, and then you let it Stay sit. with me, Mom. All right. All right. I have the... I have it. Now, do I just flip it? Yeah, just flip it over onto your towel. Okay. Okay. Okay, peel your stuff off. Oh, it smells burnt. Okay, it peeled off easily. Now, do I okay. just roll the towel up with it? Yeah, you roll the towel up with it. <laughs> Tightly? Yeah, pretty tight. Not like strangle it, but roll it pretty tight. Oh my gosh, Mom, it's rolled. Okay. Then you let it sit. You have to let it cool now. Okay. Seam side like down I, or I, seam side up? Uh, I put the seam down. Okay. And then uh, you have to be patient. Which well, I know that's not your virtue. We know that's a strong suit of mine. I'm going to go ahead and put the cream cheese frosting. What this filling was, it's actually super, super simple. It was one block of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, and um, two tablespoons of butter, and a cup of powdered sugar. But I don't think that this was a huge... success although maybe it was I think I might actually be pretty proud of it I'm actually gonna take a picture and send it to my mom all right friends the pumpkin roll is done 
All I have left is Steven requested sugar cookies. I didn't film this. I made two dozen, maybe a little over two dozen sugar cookies for Steven. I will need to ice those still. I do a really simple like dip glaze and then just put some sprinkles on. And yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk and then shower and shave and then I'll rest a little bit, read a little bit, make the charcuterie plate for tonight. And yeah, Steven's working on the faucet right now. He's taking a little break from work. So productive day. All right, I'm gonna get my walking clothes on and go for a walk. I just got back from a run, walk, three mile interval. It was wonderful. It's not super cold, so it wasn't too bad. I'm gonna get cleaned up and shaved. While I was gone, Steven actually started working on the sink, so. I think he has to pick up a part from Home Depot, but he doesn't seem that frustrated with it, so that's a good thing. You didn't do anything. That was a fake out. You didn't do anything, but you're gonna expect a cookie. Yeah. So I'm giving you a cookie for no reason. Yeah. You're a waste of space, mm -hmm. but we love you. All right, I'm gonna go get cleaned up. And then when we come down, we're gonna ice these sugar cookies. So I'm officially done with all the baking for the holidays. So I am all cleaned up. I even gave myself a haircut. I've been doing my own, cutting my own hair since March. And I'm really happy with it. I'm all shaved, my skin feels good. Yeah, now I'm gonna get the glaze for that those cookies done. And Steven ran to Home Depot to grab something, so. It's been a good day. I have two cups of powdered sugar. I'm using a shallow dish. And we're gonna do one. I'm gonna start with four. Three, four tablespoons of milk. That's a little bit more, but you can always add a little bit more. I'm only adding one drop of food coloring. I want it to be a really, really light blue. And then I just got some sparkly sugar and also some plain white sprinkles. They were in my pantry. All I'm going to do, literally, is I'm going to make sure the whole cookie gets submerged. I'm gonna lift it up. And then I have my cooling racks sitting over tin foil. I'm gonna hit these with a little sugar. And they're going to look fancy, but they're literally going to be the easiest things ever. The baking of 2020 is done. They have dripped enough that I went ahead and set them on the counter. I cleaned up everything. Steven is in the bathroom finishing up the faucet. Bubby is wandering around and I think we should open advent calendars. I'm gonna open advent calendars. Day 22. Aw. It's a really cute little red house. Goat milk cuticle scrub. Ooh, it's like a cuticle serum. Oh, it's another bath oil shot. This one is called Sleep. It's lavender and chamomile. I've tried their other bath oil shots and they are incredible. Pour some sugar on me. Mint chocolate caviar. Not my thing, because I'm not a huge mint lover. This might be my favorite. Look how pretty this one is. That's so beautiful. That is exactly what my cookies do not look like. Danielle and I are doing a pajama themed party tonight. So I put on some Christmas pajamas. So this is all our wreath making. Danielle's bringing the wine. And then I made this charcuterie plate for us. I'm also toasting some bread for some bruschetta. So that's going. Steven finished the bathroom today, friends. He has to touch up some painting that he wants to touch up, but look. It looks so good. I love how like simple and clean it looks with the new hardware. I'm really, really happy with it. It looks super great. That's what's happening right now. I'm just trying to keep an eye on this bread so it doesn't over toast. And listening to my holiday soundtrack. I also have my gifts for Danielle ready to go. I'm gonna go grab my robe, 
for later. I think we're all set. I realized I didn't give you a good rundown of how I do my charcuterie boards. So I always have a honey and a mustard, and then I kind of know the people, like I know what cheeses Daniel likes. So I have a pepper cheese, a really good Parmesan, a smoked Gouda, one of Daniel's favorites. I have a Havarti with dill. I have a New York State cheddar and then the toasted prosciutto. And then I just put the crackers in between. I think it's really important to have greenery on your charcuterie board. So my rosemary plant by the front porch is actually still doing really well. So these are snipped off of my um, rosemary bush. I had some spicy cut pepperoni. I had some nuts and dried fruit that I added. And then lastly, I had some grapes in the fridge that I threw on as well. So that's how I kind of set them up. And I think they look beautiful. Okay. So I do know whatever hand you work with, you have to do three loops around first. So like, I don't know for you as a right-hander, which way you wanna go, but you wanna what get- are you doing? Your left hand? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. You wanna make it tight. Maybe it's more than three this first time. I thought it was, yeah. You wanna wrap it how many times? Yeah, like three or four or do times. Do you need to leave some slack? No, it should be really tight because this is going to be your first loop, but not so tight that you like break your ribbon. Your paddle wire should be on the outside of your wreath. So however you have to, to make it wrap that way. All right, so. Put on my gloves. <laughs> put on me. So then you wanna make a bundle, like of however you want. And like, this is where I'm gonna cut things. So like, I'm gonna do like, a bundle of pine and then I'm probably just gonna lay one or two pieces of cypress on it. I just forget how to wrap when... Well, I'll show you. And then maybe like just one little piece of the princess pine. What is this? So like this is my bundle then. Oh. And then That's what you'll so do, great. I'll show you. You want to write, wrap three times around the bundle, but you want to make sure that this is relatively tight because as these desiccate, they'll loosen up. So then once you make your next bundle, now you want to like alternate it. So I wrapped this, it like seven times. <laughs> so this one, I'm going to go a little bit on the outside and then my next one, I'll tilt a little bit more on the inside. Okay. And then you just go again, one. Alternating your sequence of how you Two. Things. Yeah. We are deep in wreath making and wine drinking, which is a great combination, but don't worry, Danielle has her gloves. <laughs> They're turning out so well. It smells so it's good. Juniper. Oh. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, no, cedar. Cedar. I will show you mine. I just finished mine and added my bow. Look how cute that is. I'm like all about the droopy bows and I love how simple this like almost like dove gray velvet bow looks. I'm pretty obsessed with it. It looks so good. We have been enjoying our charcuterie tray. It's been a perfect friend miss. We're listening to Christmas music. We'll be sweeping up needles for a week. Okay. Do you want to hold yours up for everyone? It's fat. Just kidding. <laughs> it looks good though. Fat to thin. Are you going to do the fat on top or the fat on the bottom? I don't know. Well, I think it's going to... I like it. <laughs> but then... I so. No, I think if you put the bow... On the other side, hold on, let me grab some bow and see what we can do. Like here? Yes. Yeah. And if I do like a Mackenzie bow. Yeah. All right, let me let me work on that. For Danielle's, I had this Mackenzie Child's bow still at my house. I've had it for years. God, this is my wedding. Actually, I might have had it the Christmas before your wedding. Because I think I did a black and white tree one year. And I just made a bow, and I'm not like a great bow maker for her wreath, and it looks really good. She's attaching it, and it's gonna like balance out the weight of hers. 
The wreath making is fun. I definitely liked working with these forms better than what we worked with at the other place. Yeah, I think we worked with like... Why or wicker. one? No, wicker, you're right. And it was brutal. This was really nice to work with. So yeah. this is how Danielle's... Oh my gosh, I, I love it so we much. That wreath at the barn sale would be like $600. Everyone Look at my bow. It looks so good. I've never made you a- found your new calling. I mean, I'm gonna make bows. You can call me and I'll just make your bow. It looks really good. Yeah, Our wreaths look way better this year than they looked at that other place. 100%. It's because we're drinking more wine. I was pregnant last time. I also think like our like we're not limited to greens. I feel like she was pretty strict with how much we had to work with. And like we still have a lot left over. You could take some of this fur with you and like I said in the crock pot. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so much of it left. That bow makes it. Keep this for like ever. We're gonna have to do this. Again. We'll do it every year. Yeah. I am so obsessed much. with it's really yours. Good. It's really good. The bow actually makes this all really work well. 100%, and it was by mistake. <laughs> I love it. All right, friends, it is like 10.30. Danielle just left. We had such a good time together. The wreaths turned out so well, um, but I'm going to get this edited and uploaded to all of you. But I hope you enjoyed today. It was a wonderful, wonderful day. Super busy, but super amazing, and I'm so grateful to have had it, so. Um, I'll end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.